Welcome back to AJ's Week in Web, where you can get all of the web development trends for the week in three minutes or less. First up is Netliffy. If you're not familiar with Netliffy, think about like Firebase hosting, where you can host projects in a continuous integration and it automatically provides a HTTPS site to hook up to. What Netliffy has added recently is large media storage and what this will allow you to do is separate all of the large items that are needed within your project from the rest of the project and it'll allow for transformations um, similar to like a Cloudinary type of setup. If you're new to React.js like I am, go ahead and check out Next.js. It provides file system routing, automatic code splitting, and server-side rendering out of the box. Next.js 8 was just released. They have now serverless Next.js, um, which allows for massive build time memory usage reduction as well as smaller initial HTML size, faster port listening and development, faster static export. The list continues, so make sure you check out the docs over there to see what's in Next.js version 8. Microsoft continues to impress me with how they've embraced open source. They've open sourced a new lesson that is called Front End Boot Camp. This includes a heavily um, emphasized React side of the house, so go ahead and check that out. It provides a two-day workshop that really breaks down all the parts and pieces you need to get up to speed on React and web front-end development in general. Josh Thomas over on the Ionic Framework team has posted a quick uh, blog about how Ionic React Beta is open for us to check out. It's really interesting how Ionic is moving into all of the language spaces at this point. I'm really excited to see them polish this up and get a 1.0 version out there. If you're in the Angular community, you've probably heard of Norwal. They've released a new site called nx.dev. You can think of nx as an Angular CLI power-up that will allow you to build full-stack applications better, including testing, serving, and builds. nx has been around for a little while now, but they officially created this site to help with the documentation that sits behind it. The last item up this week is Workbox. Workbox isn't necessarily a new technology, but I'm always on the hunt for the easiest way to create PWAs. They released a new blog that is going from version 3 to version 4. Um, especially for the pre-caching side of this, it makes it super easy for you to add uh, the ability to become a PWA with service workers. Check that out today. Thank you so much for watching AJ's Week in Web. If you like web development news, subscribe today and click that bell. You'll get instant notification each week when the newest episode drops.